What's up everyone? This is Cloud Chief and in today's video I am bringing you another Unity NM. For this video it is Voso. You can find this NM in the Labyrinth of Anzozo at either G6, H7, or I5. All of those locations are more to the back of the zone so you really are best off using a Unity NPC to work there. This NM is a level 122 NM and it is a coral that does pretty much all of the typical coral TP moves, but we'll get into that more in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and look at the drops. So all in all, these drops I feel are pretty good. While there's of course much better things in the game at this point, these are still pretty decent drops if you're very early on in the game and can, you know, definitely give you a little bit of a boost. The body piece is pretty decent as it has some accuracy that's based on your unity ranking, some attack, and like I said, it just overall has some decent stats, plus a wide variety of jobs can use it. If you are a new or returning player, this isn't a terrible piece. It's actually a pretty decent piece and it would be pretty good for you to have it just to get started. The other drop, which is the grip, is for room fencer only. It would have been pretty good if like all jobs could use this. It has some HP on it and just some you know negative damage taken. It's just a decent grip for if you're gonna be tanking, which is what most of the time people want to use room fencer for. So both drops are pretty decent, but there are definitely better drops in the game. So now let's move on to the actual NM fight itself. This guy, considering he's a cat, has a lot of evasion. He is actually quite elusive. Even at about 1150 accuracy, I was still missing a fair amount of time. I was still hitting enough that it wasn't really an issue. I mean, it seems like you need to be closer to probably 1200 to be hitting the accuracy cap although if you're at 1100 you should be able to manage enough to definitely beat him i actually ended up beating him at 1010 accuracy so it's definitely possible but this guy is quite evasive so this guy pretty much only uses four tp moves his first tp move is blaster which is a gaze paralyzed move that is quite strong. If you make sure you're not facing him when it goes off though, you won't get paralyzed. Next is Chaotic Eye, which is also a gaze move, but this one actually gives you silence. Again, if you turn, you won't get hit by that. Then the next move, which is by far the most dangerous move that this NM does, is Charge Whisker, which is elemental thunder damage and this can like really hurt this was actually the main reason i wasn't able to clear the nm and 118 gear i had to actually use nq ambuscade gear i'm sure i could have cleared him in the 118 gear but it would have been just me banging my head against it until i finally got a win and all it would have taken is one to two charge whiskers to literally wipe me out so you really need something to be able to handle charge whisker whether it's, you know, negative magic damage taken, bar thunder, lightning carol, just you need something to help just mitigate the damage because if he ends up doing this back to back it can quite easily wipe out your whole party. It just does that high of damage. So this is really the biggest threat to this fight. Luckily though, from my experience, he doesn't seem to do charge whisker that much. But, like I said, it's powerful enough that he just do it, does it once or twice. It can wipe you if you're not prepared for it. So, definitely have yourself set up to be able to handle it. And then the last TP move he does, he will only do it below 50%. And this is Blink of Peril. This is essentially Throat Stab, for anyone who knows what that is. It is extremely high damage. It will take you to very low HP unless you have some damage taking gear, then that will actually keep some of your HP. But if you have no damage taking gear, you're going to be left in double digits HP in the red, and your hate will get reset. Because of the hate reset though, that's what makes it not really that dangerous of a move. You're going to be in extremely low HP, but then the mob isn't even going to look at you any time soon. So. 
as long as your healers and support can heal you up and aren't really tapped, it's not really a threat. Which really comes back to my main point that really Charged Whisker is the most threatening thing about this NM and it was really the only thing that was consistently giving me problems. I had almost cleared it in, you know, the 118 Sparks gear, but that just wasn't enough. Even with using Sublime Sushi, issues of not being able to hit the mob and then just like I said charge whisker literally doing almost all my HP and also that it's AoE just hitting all the trusts is what I think is the biggest hindrance for this NM. I was able to take him down relatively easy once I was using the NQ Ambuscade gear that is basically Ares so all the stuff with the damage taken. That allowed me to survive essentially charge whisker with a decent amount of HP and it also made blink of peril not really threatening because instead of just being in double digits I had like 400 HP after it did that so as long as you can handle charge whisker this NM will not give you any type of challenge and it also just make sure you have a decent amount of accuracy I wouldn't want to approach this NM really with less than 1100 accuracy and even then you're still gonna be whiffing a decent bit of the time I think you need to be closer to 1200 accuracy to actually hit the accuracy cap and that about wraps everything up with the NM Voso thank you guys for tuning in thank you for supporting the channel and as always may you have success in all you do